All right, so this is a, a video um, about replacing a drain pan for your AC coil unit. Um, I've had two AC repairmen out here to take a look at it, and uh, I was developing some water leakage there, and both mechanics um, or technicians suggested a new AC compressor outside. Um, so they quoted me about six grand for a new AC compressor. Um, I have no experience in um, HVAC or anything with air conditioning units, and so that, that kind of freaked me out. I had no idea that something like that would be caused by an old compressor. So I started doing some digging, tearing things apart, and uh, I noticed that... <laughs> I've got a giant leak there, and which caused corrosion and breakage, actually, in my drain pan. And so I decided that I'd just order one and try it out myself. So I have um, I found one online. It took me a little while to find it, actually, um, just because you have to find the model number for your coil, specific to your coil. But if it fits your model number, that doesn't mean it'll necessarily fit it has to be the same dimensions too, because sometimes the model number comes with different measurements. Um, so I made sure I found the right model number uh, and dimensions for the pan. Um, there's lots of videos online on how to do this in different ways, but um, I'm gonna try to do it without disconnecting any of my um, AC um, connectors so I don't have to resolder or recompress any lines. The outside compressor is about 13 years old, and so this Freon's hard to find, and it's expensive. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. So um, what I've what I've got kind of going on here as a setup is I'm bringing the um, strap up up one side. I fished it from the from the top down, and then I'm going to fish it underneath the coil, centered, obviously. And then I'm going to bring it through on the other side. So the idea is I can attach my ratchet strap to my 2x4 there and bring it up here to my stud um, floor joist. So um, the idea is to hold it up so I have enough time to be able to crank this up just a little bit so I can get a new pan in there. Um, so we'll see how it works. All right, as you can see, I've got my ratchet strap coming up on this right side of this coil not touching any of the coils um, coming in just a little bit on the right side coming up in the middle and then crossing a little bit on the left side on that back coming through the back up to the top here and then attaching up at the top um, so I've, I've used the ratchet strap to hold it up I've cranked it up and I've got some clearance there. I'm actually, if you can see, I've got enough clearance to where I can almost get that off, but it's actually starting to pull this pan. And so I actually have enough clearance on this side. It's just that other side I'm, I'm working on, but it, uh, the ratchet strap seems to be doing its job and picking it up and holding it up. So we'll keep you updated. Okay, well, I was able to get the uh, ratchet strap enough to pick it up to be able to pull this side panel off. So as you can see, I've got the side panel off over here. Um, it just pulls around from the back. So I've got the ratchet strap on both sides to stabilize it a little bit for now. I put just a plastic Tupperware container on it to keep it level. Um, I'm not fix finishing it tonight just because my part's not supposed to be here till tomorrow, but um, I just figured that that was a good way to rest it. Um, so it stays at the right height it needs to so that nothing gets damaged there. But just kind of show you a perspective of what this thing looks like. There's my crack um, that was there originally. This was all corroded. Um, it snapped off in the process of taking it off. But also, there's a crack on this side right here. That crack is original, not from uh, me taking it off. Um, but then there was some corrosion there, which caused that to snap taking it off. So a bunch of cracks in it. Um, so kind of disappointing that they wanted to charge me 
six grand to replace my AC compressor for if this was all that was wrong. It cost me 75 bucks with expedited shipping. So not too bad. So we'll keep you updated on what's going on. So I didn't take a video of the pan um, that came, but I set it on top of the old one and it fit perfectly. Um, and so as you can see, I went ahead and, and put the pan and placed it in um, and screwed it down right there. And then I brought that side covering in, placed it in, and then I kind of had to finagle it a little bit in order to <clears throat> get the ratchet strap loosened so I could get that on. But it's um, basically completely on now. I've got the pan in and the coil attached to it. So it's sitting in the pan well. And so now it's just a matter of attaching the rest of the screws. So I don't know how yours is set up, but mine kind of is held from top down. So I had to make sure I get, had all these top screws in before I could let it freestand. So it took a sec to kind of get it there. But it's um, it's all good, so I'm, I'm ready to prove those uh, HVAC guys wrong. All right, my carrier furnace air conditioner system is, is taped back up, and uh, it's been tested. It's still cold, so my um, lines didn't break. My condenser still works. Everything coils are great, and uh, it's uh, draining out through my drain which is a good sign because I wasn't doing that before. So everything worked and uh, there's how to do a $70 fix for a uh, dripping furnace.